Life is So Good is a memoir written in 2000 by American author George Dawson, with collaborative effort from Richard Globman. Born in 1898, Dawson, the grandson of slaves, witnessed almost the entire 20th century without acquiring the ability to read or write. At the remarkable age of 98, he embarked on the journey of learning these skills, prompting him to share his perspective on America during the 20th century and his wisdom for navigating through challenges. Dawson attributes his lifelong illiteracy to the harsh realities he faced, shaped by the lingering effects of slavery, persistent poverty, and racial discrimination. His memoir garnered attention due to the convergence of his age, life experiences, late literacy acquisition, and his optimistic outlook. Dawson's primary motivation for writing his memoir was to distill the components of happiness. Despite enduring a life of 98 years without literacy and navigating a deeply prejudiced society that demanded more from him than others, he managed to lead an exceptionally content existence. He credits this contentment to his father's philosophy, which emphasized the inherent value, dignity, and goodness of life. Descended from freed slaves, Dawson's father held a deep appreciation for the importance of freedom and instilled in his family the significance of leading morally upright lives. Growing up in Marshall, Texas, Dawson was the eldest of seven siblings. The family's dire financial circumstances forced him into work as early as the age of four. By seven, he was sent far from home to labor full-time on a farm. His work was ceaseless, spanning numerous manual and underpaid jobs throughout his life, with minimal job security and rights. His roles ranged from sawmill worker and driver to farmhand and railroad tie layer. In his youth, Dawson demonstrated impressive self-discipline to safeguard himself and his loved ones in challenging environments. Exhibiting a profound understanding of the prevailing racism and white supremacy that shaped his environment, Dawson displayed remarkable restraint, recognizing the threats they posed and the limitations they imposed on his life. During his late adolescence, he experienced a reciprocal love with a white girl. Despite their feelings, Dawson ended the relationship in order to ensure their safety, given that interracial relationships were prohibited by law. Even in a post-slavery America, the danger of violence prompted by such relationships persisted. At the age of 21, Dawson bid farewell to his family and boarded a train bound for Memphis, Tennessee. While he lacked formal literacy, his social acumen and resourcefulness were substantial. He adeptly shared astute observations on various subjects, including the integration of baseball, World War I, and the emergence of automobiles and airplanes. Dawson experienced two marriages, both marred by the tragic loss of his wives to illness. As the father of seven children, he managed to make ends meet, occasionally as a single parent. His children went on to achieve success in business, crediting their virtues to their father, as well as their grandparents and great-grandparents, whose legacy they upheld. At the age of 98, long after his official retirement, Dawson was presented with the opportunity to learn to read and write. Encouraged by a local teacher, he initially hesitated due to the challenge of acquiring a new skill at his age. Nonetheless, driven by the desire to be able to sign his name, read the Bible, and engage with newspapers, Dawson embarked on the journey of learning. Mastering the alphabet quickly, he achieved reading and writing proficiency within months. His memoir concludes with a reaffirmation of his life motto, Life is good, and one's circumstances can improve through genuine efforts to contribute positively to the community and embrace the best version of oneself. Life is so good stands as a testament to the potency of positive psychology, offering a vibrant depiction of the simultaneous challenges and joys of navigating life as a black individual throughout the 20th century. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.